Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis and today we are going to talk about yokes and sticks and which one is better. The control stick inside the cockpit is called side stick. Do not mismatch this meaning with a joystick. Joystick is this, made for the joy purposes, for games, for flight simulators. But in a cockpit we have side stick, so never say joystick to Airbus pilot. And as you probably know, I'm Boeing 737NG captain and we have yokes in our airplane. So we have control column just in the middle between our legs actually and here we have the yoke. But we rarely use two hands to control the aircraft and all the button switches are located on one side just for one hand so for first officer it's right hand side so we have all the trim switches autopilot disengage switches push to talk switches and for captain it's on the left side for the left hand on the right hand we have just flight number selection that's all the main difference between yoke and side stick is not only visual it lies much deeper and the flight control philosophy for example for Boeing 737 and for Airbus 320 is very different and here I've just drawn a couple of pictures and yes I'm bad at drawing and this information it's not detailed information what is actually inside the airplane but it will give you the picture the general picture of the flight control system this is Boeing 737 example and here we have any fly-by-wire airplane let's say Airbus 320 with a side stick so here on the top we have flight control column and it has mechanical linkage with the hydraulic boosters mechanical linkage with the cables similar to those uh, that were installed on the Wright Brothers airplane so on the first airplanes uh, actually flown with a similar type without hydraulic system but with the help of cables and hydraulic system itself it boosts the force the pilot inputs force and we can control the air force let's say elevator here this game is not true for detailed scheme you need to check flight crew operations manual in a system description flight control system and there are so many features new features installed on this control system flight control system of Boeing 737 like fill uh, elevator fill computer elevator fill and centering unit so actually you don't feel the real dynamic forces on your control column as probably on ATR 72 where you feel really deflect with mechanical linkage where no hydraulic boosters here you just control the airfoils directly with this uh, direct cable linkage for Boeing 737 you feel the simulated forces with those computers depends on your ear speed and many more so yes this type of flight control system is quite old-fashioned comparable to fly-by-wire system but it has some of the new features which can improve the system operation in Airbus well guys I'm not type rated on Airbus so I can be wrong say again I can be wrong but idea is for me is like this so you put the electronic impulse to computer computer receives data from outside like indicated air speed temperature and alpha wing alpha and many many more it's the angle of attack by the way and it calculates what it should give to the hydraulic system and it gives the different signal to hydraulic signal, uh, system and it deflects the airfoil the computer deflection may not be the same with the side stick deflection for example if you pitch up too much with your side stick computer may realize that it can be unsafe for the airplane performance for the time being and for example it thinks that you can exceed the alpha capability so you can exceed critical angle of attack and computer itself may limit the airfall deflection to limit your pitch the pitch of the airplane and that is why you may heard the meaning of pilot proof airplanes so air buses are the Airbus flight control system will not give you the full freedom so you cannot perform the aerobatic flights on that airplane with a normal flight control system operation but we fly commercial airplanes so no one needs 
aerobatic flights on that type of airplane. So it's pretty much reasonable to have those limits installed. On Boeing 737, however, you can do whatever you want. The air transport is the most safe transport on the planet Earth. And that system should be also very safe. To be more safe, they need to be backed up by the similar systems. So for Boeing 737, we have several hydraulic systems. So one more hydraulic system over here. So if this fails, you can still control your airfoils through the other system. For Airbus, yeah, you can also, we have hydraulic systems. We should have them on the Airbus as far as they know. But it's very easy to get a new cable. You just put the new wire here to other systems so we can back up those wires. You can put them how much you need because they're very tiny. And this hydraulic system also can deflect the airfoil. But what if you lose the secondary hydraulic system on Boeing 737? So you lose hydraulic B, hydraulic A, both of the main hydraulic systems. Well, you still have standby hydraulic system. However, it's not applied to, let's say, elevator. So how you should control the airplane pitch? Basically, with the help of the stabilizer trim, the stabilizer deflection, and you can still control the elevator manually through that cables. So it should become like old Wright Brothers airplane. The good thing here is it's very reliable. If you lose everything, electrical system, both of the engines, all the hydraulic systems, you can still control the Boeing 737 airplane no matter what, and you can land it safely. The bad thing is these controls are very tough than you control it in manual reversion. I have flown manual reversion exercise many times on a real flight simulator. And I would say the forces that you need to apply to the control column to your yoke are very different. They are several times larger. And the force of one hand or one arm is not enough to control the airplane. So you really need two hands to control airplane in manual reversion mode. That is why we need the yoke on Boeing 737. And the second reason why do we need the yoke on Boeing 737 is for precise airplane control. So you can control the airplane using two hands more precisely than using just one. So on critical stages of flight, you may use both of the hands. For example, if you are taking off, you put one hand on a yoke and the other on a thrust lever. And then you hear from the pilot monitoring V1, you just remove your hand from the thrust levers and grab the yoke with both hands. And you can control the airplane in the most precise manner. And that can also be applied to non-standard maneuvers like wind shear escape maneuver or terrain escape maneuver where you apply the maximum thrust, you of course disengage the autopilot and auto throttle, you leave it there on the maximum and you maintain the airplane pitch in the most precise way using two hands because you're very near to the stall speed at that case. Okay, so what's about the Airbus we have here? What if box of hydraulic systems or all of the hydraulic system systems would fail? Well, again, we have some of the additions to that. We have red, not the animal red, but we have ram ear turbine just pumps up, pumps down, let's say it's like a small propeller here. It, it can provide the flight control, the minimum amount of the hydraulic pressure to operate the airplane and it also can provide some electricity for airplane control. The computer as far as I remember goes to degraded mode degraded mode and it would not have the same protections that it, it had before. So this feature is quite good. So I put the plus, great plus for that feature. So what system do I like more? Well, I fly this one 
this one I haven't flown before, but I flew the simulators, the Airbus simulators, the Airbus 320 and 330 real simulators. And I was really surprised how easy it is to control the airplane with this side stick. For me, it's even easier than with a yoke. I don't know why, maybe it's just like a computer game or something, but it's very interesting to control the airplane using the side stick. Maybe I need to get some experience to understand the real difference, but I think side stick gives you more easy control of the airplane. So you're applying less forces to control the airplane. The feelings are quite the same, so you still can feel the airplane even though it's fly-by-wire, it's something new, something strange compared to Boeing 737, but it's very easy as for me. For backup sources, of course, the Boeing wins this uh, flight control battle because it has manual reversion that gives you the flight control ability even if you lose everything. However, it is very difficult to control Boeing 737 in manual reversion mode. So in that case we call distress. So we call Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. And we call all the emergency services. We prepare our cabin crew. We prepare ourselves. We prepare the passengers. For Airbus, yeah, you, have, you don't have really backup if you lose everything, all the electrical system. Well, if this thing fails, I'm in doubt what Maybe you still have some rudder and thrust levers available. I don't really know because I'm not the Airbus pilot. But the possibility of losing all of this is quite low. And you still can control the airplane in a relatively same way, even with this ram air turbine. So here it's completely different way with manual reversion if you lose everything. But of course, the possibility of losing all hydraulic systems are quite low. I mean hydraulic pumps, because if you have hydraulic leakage, this thing will not help, I think, for Airbus. But again, I'm not the Airbus pilot. Hey, Dennis, just tell us, what is better, side stick or the yoke? Well, honestly, my friends, I would tell you side stick. Why do I think like this? I think that it just gives me free space in a cockpit where I sit, so the side stick is on the side and I have free space for my legs, I can have tray table and it's very comfortable my friends, even though I'm Boeing 737 pilot, but this thing is between your legs, you know, this control column, the yoke is quite big and it really takes some space in the cockpit. The second reason why do I like side stick is because it gives you the smooth and more linear type of flying the airplane, type of controlling the airplane. Well, it's different compared to Boeing 737 and I still think that Boeing 737 flight control system is great and I really enjoy controlling Boeing 737 through the yoke. And it controls in more, in more better way compared, for example, to ATR 72600 that I used to fly before. But for Airbus, it's completely different, I would say. You can have the same type of control of the Boeing and then the, you select the autopilot on in CWS mode. So you just put the pitch and you release the hands from the yoke and the airplane will maintain the pitch. For Airbus, it's normal. It's a normal manual mode. So then I was flying simulator, the real simulator of Airbus 320 and 330. It was very, very easy for me. So instructors just ask me to maintain the bank, to increase the vertical speed. And it's very easy to do it on Airbus compared to the Boeing. The, I mean, the manual flight, so just release, you put the bank you need, you just release this side stick and airplane continues to fly. So for that task, I think Airbus is just a little bit better. What I would like to see in Airbus is the side stick synchronization. Because for now, if for example, first officer flies the airplane, so he or she is pilot flying and manipulates with the aircraft using the side stick, left, right, up, down, the captain's side stick will not move, it just stands still. As for me, I would better know what my colleague is doing with this airplane, especially at the flare maneuver. Here on a Boeing, everything is understandable because of control columns and 
yolks are synchronized. Speaking in general about those two systems, well, I like the way I fly now on Boeing 737 and I like the way it behaves, it reacts on a yolk and control column, but maybe if I'll have some more experience, maybe if I have some new experience in the future flying the fly-by-wire airplane with the side stick, for example, Airbus 350, maybe I can compare in more detail way. But now, maybe I like the way of ergonomics of the side stick. I'll just put the tiny plus for this system because I just like the free space that it can provide. For Boeing 737, it's a little bit tinier plus because I just love to fly Boeing 737. You are awesome guy, so you need to follow special awesome guy checklist. First, like this video, then subscribe to my channel, then ring the bell, whatever it means. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great time.